Hello, my name is Kevin Wong, open source architect from Huawei Cloud, upstream Kubernetes and CNCF contributor. Today, I want to talk about automating multi-cloud workloads with the Kubernetes native APIs. You have probably seen this report already that 93% of enterprises have a strategy to use multiple providers. The fact that Kubernetes has matured over years along with the cloud market will hopefully unlock programmatic multi-cloud managed services. However, there are still many challenges. As more and more applications running on top of Kubernetes, you may result in the following situations. The first one, too many clusters. Repetitive setup due to the incompatible cluster lifecycle APIs or fragmentation of YAMLs. Lack of simplified way to do per cluster customization for applications. Or functionalities including resource scheduling, auto scaling, etc., limited to the boundary of clusters. And even more, you may find that you're still locked in somewhere due to the gravity of workload instance and data. As the early participant and adopter of Kubernetes Federation, major lessons we learned from previous work are as following. Coupled APIs embedding with application definition, placement requirement, and customization requirements are complicated. And the API incompatibility really slowed down people's adoption. One-to-one -one mapping of federation API and workload are redundant, which result in too many fields to fill up every time we create applications. And the building blocks are insufficient. Lack of turnkey solution and too many customizations resulting in no standard. Therefore, we started thinking about the new project, KMARDA. We are targeting on providing the Kubernetes native API support with a set of extra policies to provide the dual actual mode uh, HA, re remote disaster recovery for different scenarios. And to avoid, to avoid the vendor locking, besides uh, some integration with uh, mainstream cloud providers, we also provide automatic allocation and migration across clusters. And also we provide things like uh, cluster affinity, multi-cluster splitting and the rebalancing uh, kind of uh, advanced multi-cluster scheduling features. KMARDA is able, also able to provide location agnostic, centralized API endpoint and bot access for clusters, no matter in public cloud, on-prem, or on the edge. Especially, this project is jointly initiated by the end users from in internet, finance, manufacturing, and the telecoms industries. Here's the architecture overview of the KMADA project. KMADA runs its own API server to provide template APIs, which is exactly the same definition with Kubernetes. And policies APIs, including propagation policy, override policies are also the key uh, concepts provided by KMADA. Particularly the Synchronization mode between KMRDA control plan and the member clusters can be done either by centralized controller or by the agents, which is very useful in different network environments. A brief example, say if you want to deploy your applications across three zones to achieve higher availability, the propagation policy API is ready to help. Simply config the spread constraint fields as the show, uh, the, the showing in the deck, and you can uh, make it apply to all the uh, deployments. And if if you have dedicated e image registry for the clusters in, for example, data center one, you can also use override policy to replace the image prefix with specific address. And then when you deploy the applications, 
you can just repeatedly submit exactly the same YAML that you apply to your Kubernetes single cluster. That's how the propagation policy, override policy are shared and reused. Here's the link of the KMRNA project. Please have a try and let us know your feedback. We also have another talk at the KubeCon that covers more details about the project. All right, that's all about my talk. Hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.